Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episode 9 of season 3 of Demon Slayer. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. No one fucking... God, he's still going. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him though, but... Are we giving that backstory on her today? I, you know, I, am I gonna talk about the the situation about one of my friends that I follow? No, I, I I think you know. If you follow me on Twitter, and if you follow that person on Twitter, it, it's a lot of ish, and wow, I, I'm not mad. I, I agree with what he said, honestly, because I I felt like that last time, and I'm like. Woo! <laughs> but between my two guy friends who are in two different situations on two different shows and the backlash I got, uh, fucking nuts. Baby, I love how you were so fucking confident and 100% sure about that shit. Again, I'm never looking at little kids' hands the same way. <laughs> oh. I mean, if you want to talk about short fucking limbs. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, damn. <laughs> but what that poison is doing jack shit to him. I'm sorry. <laughs> She 
just oof. Big oof. There's something I want to say, but I can't say it because <laughs> That's BDE right there. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Of course, it wouldn't be so easy. But nasty. Mm-mm. Well, now he has bigger arms, but still. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, you look like a really bad merman, but whatever floats your boat. Yeah, you definitely would have died. Hmm. 
Mm-mm. Nah, Bobo, it is you who was too slow. Like butter, smooth butter. Uh huh, Andy. <laughs> You know, that's how you end a conversation, though. Like, oof. First, <laughs> you sure you, you don't look amazing right now. <laughs> you look like you're gonna faint. My God. Also, the fact that he survived after getting the shit cut out of him, the three slashes on his body, yes, sir. Of course, not. He did it. <laughs> oh.
Once again. Okay. I know, I miss him too. <laughs> Go cry in the corner, oh my god. If he don't survive the end of this series, I'm not going to be happy. He precious baby boy. He deserves the world. He deserves everything. Me too, you. <laughs> Leaves us. What the fuck is that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Show just pull an attack on Titan on my ass. I do not want to see the hand break. Oh, oh! Coming in like damn fucking saving room, babe. <laughs>
We're not about yeah. It be getting good. It be getting good and be like next week. Next week. You know, I hope when I go to the movies tomorrow to go see Spider Man across the Spider Verse, I you know, y'all with these damn cliffhangers. I swear to God. I mean, would I be mad if across um yeah, across the Spider Verse did that too? Not really. But once again, we get into the situation of it gets good and then we just end. It got good and, and like even great, grand, awesome as heck. But then, boom, we end. See you next week. Where yeah, the people who be ending these shows and, and cliffhangers, y'all be smoking crack. Y'all literally be like, yes, every episode will end in a cliffhanger. We are okay with that, right? Yes. How many episodes you want to end in a cliffhanger? Yes. <laughs> but I, I mean, honestly, the episode was good. But for my precious baby boy, my new precious baby boy, I, like I said, I need him to end this series alive. I want him to, th these two. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's, it's been a hot minute since we've seen them. It does make me wonder what these two are doing while Tom Chill's on his own, but... <laughs> because I do remember um, when season two was airing, and everybody was like, oh my god, I cannot wait until season three. And then I, I did see, oh hey, it's just Tanjil. And every majority of the comments of when I saw it the first time, they were like, oh, I don't want to see that. And I was like, I think that's going to be good because... We technically, the first couple episodes of season one, it is just him. And usually when it's him by himself, those are really interesting episodes and such. But yes, I do miss my boys. Like, it, it feels so weird just to have him. But, you know, it's just like, damn, like, you think he knows gay? <laughs> Either one of them would just show up in an episode to just, like, help him. But, like, no. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it still makes you wonder what those two idiots are doing as well. And they're like, yes, my little, you know, <laughs> the three greatest friends that you'll ever have. You feel like, damn, I miss my trio. Like, mm. <laughs> That's even so funny. But I mean, it, it's just like, like I said, it's. Even though Tanjiro and Nezuko, they are the show, and then when you look at our trio, they are a show, they are the show as well. When all of them are together, it really, truly feels like, damn, I guess we are really here in this moment. So, once again, not having them here in this situation, it just feels off, and it makes me wonder, like, 
if we're going to go into season four like that or however long this series is going to go but I mean I'm okay with that if they wanted to just do one episode to see what you know Skate and Sinners who were doing then that is fine I'm not mad if they really do that I mean like that's like what freaking Shield Hero when they did that one episode focusing on Raftalia and the ish that she was doing even though we all don't like to talk about season two <laughs> We just hope and pray that season three is better than season two at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that is where I have to read towards episode nine of season three of Demon Slayer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode ten. Bye, guys.